So hello again my friends, I hope you are all well. Um, I've come down this morning to the little forest that I came to quite a few weeks ago now, um, at the start of spring, um, looking for woodpeckers. And uh, I've come down again today to see if the grey-headed woodpecker that I had spotted then by a hole, so something flying in, no. Um, yeah, to see if the grey-headed uh, woodpecker that I had spotted back then had actually nested uh, and produced uh, chicks. So I've found um, the same tree and um, I haven't got a good view of the hole that he was at then, or she, um, but there's a hole further down the tree that looks like there's movement inside. Um, so without being sure, there's either one or two chicks, I think, inside. Um, I can see a little bit of movement. In fact, I think I can see a little tongue sticking out. Hold on. It looks like... Oh, there's one chick for sure. Just sticking its little beak out and sticking its tongue out as well. Um, so I haven't seen the parent yet, so um, I'm going to hang around and see if I can get a shot of the parent arriving and then the feeding and then leaving so that I can cut a little sequence together. Um, I'm about 50 meters away I guess, um, so hopefully I won't be disturbing the, um, the parents from coming to and from the nest. Um, a little bit too far for the for a still though I will try taking some and see what I can get and see how much of a crop I can um, get away with so yeah I'm gonna hang around here for a little bit and uh, hopefully I'll get those shots and then I'll take another walk through the woods here and see what else is around so I'll catch up with you in a little while two chicks, both sticking their head out. One is significantly larger than the other, so he's probably been born first and getting a better feed in the second. I'm not sure how it works with uh, the woodpeckers in terms of um, the chick survival. Um, they both seem to be getting a feed though. Oh, I'm really happy with this. absolutely wonderful. I'm a little bit too far away for the stills so I'm gonna to have to crop into them quite a bit and I ho hope I'm able to hold steady enough on these shots so that I'll be, so that I'll be um, sharp because it's really dark under the tree canopy there by the nest and I'm on 3200 ISO which is fine for the video but um, for the um, stills, it's giving me two hundredths of a second. Oh, she's still there, the mother or the father. I can't tell if it's male or female. And the chicks are begging for more. Fantastic. having a look around. So at least I'm not disturbing which is a good thing otherwise the um, parent wouldn't have come back at all. She'd probably wait for me to, to go before giving up the location of her nest.
Let's find Wonderful. And the baby's still sticking his head out the wind out of the hole. One of the bit the larger of the two. So getting eaten alive by the mozzies here at the minute. Fantastic. Okay, so I think I've got the shot that I wanted. I'll check and make sure that I've got the still that I wanted as well. Um, and if I have, then I'll move on and um, see what else I can uh, find in the woods here. Hopefully more woodpeckers. I've seen uh, four or five um, different varieties of woodpecker in these woods before. So with any luck, we'll find some more. So let's catch up with you in a bit. Water here, and um, there's lots of uh, dragonflies and uh, damselflies. So I'm going to see if I can get some shots of them. They're absolutely stunning, beautiful colours, and I can hear a woodpecker falling from somewhere over there as well. So I'm going to hang here for a little bit and see what I can find. Was a little bit of fun trying to uh, film and get a few shots with a lens that's way too long of the little damselflies. Oh, almost stepped on a tortoise um, hiding in here. Let me just give you a quick look at him. In amongst all the undergrowth there. So this is so overgrown now compared to the last time I was here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make it through but we shall see. It's a bit of a jungle um, and there's loads of stinging apples. Ow. 
Okay, so um, I'm going to try and walk through the forest here a little bit uh, to see if I might find any more nesting holes that are being used. So bear with me whilst I struggle through this mess here and try and find something. Okay, back with you in a bit. Walked myself out of the woods through the overgrown um, nettles and managed to get stung and provide a good feed for the little bloodsuckers. And uh, all I did was hear lots of birds but not actually see them. So I'll come back up onto the embankment and I'll give it another half hour or so here. See if I can spot anything. There's a couple of holes in the trees here that I might um, uh, stick around and see if anything comes back to them. They don't look like they're in use though, to be honest. Um, but I'll hang around here nevertheless and then head back. So just a short one this week. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching it such as this. If I do see anything else, I will bring it to you in a moment. Um, but uh, until next time, thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon.